Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a little extra vlog series for you this week. It's going to be a short one, I'm only here for five days and as you can tell from the beginning of this video it's uh, purely down to the fact that Morrissey announced two shows at House of Blues for Friday and Saturday of this week. Now that's despite the fact that um, Suzanne and I are actually back here ourselves for our main two week holiday uh, towards the end of August. And I thought to myself, when these Morrissey shows were announced, bear in mind Suzanne and I had already booked uh, our trip. There's no way you can justify going twice in a month. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, the uh, Caesars Palace shows in July 22 were supposed to be a once in a lifetime, you've seen Morrissey in Vegas at Caesars Palace type event. But a couple of things have changed my mind as the days have ticked on. Um, the first one is, um, since I retired, I watch a lot of um, retirement vlog channels now actually, which I just think is a sign of my age, you know, sort of retirement strategies and um, like top five things that new retirees find surprising, all that type of stuff. And they get, they get incredible views actually. In fact, I was actually going to do my own retirement uh, uh, vlog channel, um, but I decided I don't want to share huge amounts of information, which I would have to if I did it the way I would want to do it. So I'm not going to do that. But in terms of like uh, the, you know, the top five things that new retirees struggle with, I haven't struggled with anything really, apart from one main thing, and that is uh, moving from a saver to a spender. So spending guilt. You know, I've gone through 40 years of work, paying into my pension every month, watching it go up every month, been quite uh, smart with my investment choices and you know you sort of get used to looking at that you know the app now these days it's all on the phone you know and it's all going up and it's all great and oh one day I'll be able to spend it um, and <laughs> whilst I did take some money out to go around go across America uh, on the whole I, I just have huge amounts of spending guilt if I withdraw any money from uh, the pot uh, which apparently is a very uh, common problem, <laughs> which is understandable because you know you're, you're, in effect, you're breaking rules that you've adhered to for a, a lifetime. You know, um, so the spending guilt thing. I thought, you know what? If you can do it and you can afford to do it, just fucking do it. Um, and the second thing is, uh, some of you may remember we lost Suzanne's mum uh, at the end of last year. Uh, her dad's doing very well actually, uh, it was his 82nd birthday last Wednesday, uh, we took him out for a nice meal, uh, and uh, I have some health issues now on my side of the family, which is very upsetting, which I don't really want, really want to go into, but again, it, it, it drills home to you the importance of doing things while you can, and those of you that watch the Across America series will know that really was the theme of the whole thing. That's why I did it. If you can do it, do it when you're young enough to enjoy it and can do it and all of that. So this really ties into that uh, in a way. So for those reasons, I ended up booking it. It's only five nights, as I said, uh, and I'm not staying at Plaza, which is why I'm walking in this direction. Uh, now, before we get on to uh, El Cortez, which is where I'm staying, uh, the flight yesterday was fantastic. It's the first time I've flown from Gatwick Airport, which is around about a 25 minute uh, car uh, ride from me. In fact, when I was doing Uber, I used to go to and from Gatwick multiple times every week. So it's 25 minutes to get them. I, le I left home, or Suzanne dropped me off at Gatwick. We left at quarter to seven uh, yesterday morning. Uh, and by 20 to 8, I was in uh, the number one lounge enjoying a cooked breakfast. <laughs> and uh, everything was on time. The flight was fantastic. I was in World Traveller Plus, as you saw. Uh, and we arrived here around about 1 p.m. Uh, so the slot action from uh, yesterday will follow this, as always. Uh, so we, I did some gambling in the afternoon, then a bit of gambling in the evening, then collapsed at around about midnight. Then of course woke up about 4, 4.30, uh, made some phone calls home, 
and uh, just decided to have a bit of a wander uh, before we uh, start the first uh, full day proper. So with regards to Elko, the reason I'm not staying at Plaza is because I've already booked the offer I've got with Plaza for August with Suzanne, so I can't book two. I then decided, right, where do I want to stay downtown? In effect, it's two nights downtown, three at Delano on the Strip. I'm only here five, as I said. Uh, and I was gonna, I was just about to book downtown Grand. I had a, an offer there, not a very good one. It was just a couple of free nights, I think, or it might have only been one free night. Um, and literally on the day I was gonna book downtown Grand, I got a email offer from El Cortez offering me three free nights in a renovated tower premium room. No resort fees, of course. Uh, 75 free play and 100 resort credit. Now that is on the back of me losing $800 in there playing Huff and Even More Puff last trip. It's literally that, that gambling session alone, which I did wonder if I'd get anything. But I hadn't heard anything from them. Obviously it takes, you know, it probably takes a quarter for uh, their systems to update and then for them to uh, send out the new offers. So I was quite chuffed with that. So I've booked El Cortez, I'm pleased with the room. Uh, and El Cortez is a property, I'll show, you, I'll show you what it's like inside now. They've improved it beyond belief from what it used to be like. Um, it was, uh, well, to be honest, an, an absolute shithole uh, <laughs> a few years back. Uh, but uh, much, much better now. Great slot selection. Uh, so we will sh I'll show you that before I move down to the south end of the strip. So that pretty much, I think, covers it all. So yeah, you're going to see a few uh, interesting people at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> on Fremont Street. So I've got a thousand uh, per day. Hopefully I won't spend it all, but it's there to be spent if uh, I need to. And I'm very much looking forward to Morrissey on Friday and Saturday. Jules is flying in on Friday. I'm not sure. He's coming to one of the shows with me. I'm not quite sure exactly which one. But he's coming to one of them. Okay, so I'm going to leave you here. Um, I will uh, leave you with the best of the slot action from yesterday afternoon and evening. And I will catch up with you after that. Speak to you in a bit. Okay, so uh, first bonus of the holiday on uh, Dollar Storm Mega Grand Link. Those are the numbers on offer. Uh, this is the Dollar Boomer game. It's playing one dollar denomination, five bucks a spin. I have my first Budweiser of the holiday. Cheers, everyone. This is my uh, second hundred, and I've already lost the 75 free play I had at El Cortez. So we're 125 down, but we got the uh, uh, the Boomer bonus. Free spins. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. It's good to be back in the saddle, I tell you. <laughs> Come on, re trigger. No. One hold and spin. Come on, just welcome me with open arms. 25 bucks for three to go. Uh, I'm not getting good vibes here, <laughs> I have to say. Go on. Oh, okay, right. So that's 25 bucks. Anyway, it's the first bonus of the holiday. It can only get better from there, can't it, Mr. Boomer? It's fabulous to be in Vegas. I, I get so excited every single time. And actually, within, uh, I would say, five minutes of uh, being in El Cortez, um, Vegas Matt walked past me. He's doing some filming here at the moment. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, cheers everybody. Here's to many bonuses and many holding spins. Okay, so we're on uh, Where's the Gold Jackpots. Those are the numbers on offer. Uh, I was uh, drawn to this because the major was 1445, whereas all the others are in the 700s. And this is my third hundred. Uh, got down to 65, 65 at five bucks a spin, which is the maximum bet on uh, one cent. So uh, I've got to pick a car. I've seen this on, uh, I think actually, D Lucky's channel. Uh, so what should we go for? Let's go for the fortune teller. I see wheels in your future. And what goes into... Divine. 
Mercy. Yeah, we need awesome. to stop. We need to stop yes. throwing things down. This is. Oh, that's yeah. it. Come on. Let's take it. Beauty. Oh my. Ooh. Pretty. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> Crikey. Lovely. Come on, love. Wild. She's she's lagging Gold behind rush. her. Oh man. Fortune. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah. Very yeah, good. I don't I don't think I actually uh, yeah. necessarily picked Crikey. the right one. Yeah, that was the best Lucky one. Me. Hear me. Beautiful. There's a 75 yeah, in there, but I'm, I'm actually not sure what happens Lovely. after all of this has been thrown down. I don't think you win it all. Lovely. Cool. But you might do, I don't oh, know. My. Learn with me. Oh yeah, that it was, it was the well the worst one apart from that one. Oh okay, I did win all that. Okay, 118. Alright, oh, that's not that bad, is it? Okay. <laughs> That is a very quick, <laughs> I'm sure that's not all the feature, but that is a very quick, where's the gold jackpots. Okay, so uh, against my better judgment, I decided to have another go on uh, half an even more puff. <laughs> and this is my 700. I've literally been in El Cortez probably less than an hour. This is my third Budweiser though, I would say that. So the uh, waitress service has been pretty good. I'm doing six bucks a spin, uh, 10 cent denomination, down to 31.90 on my 700. We have the wheel, fi wheel feature. Here we go. Uh, not the mini. Okay, it's gonna be all mansions, is it? Not quite. Mega hat, okay, there we go. Let's hope for a good one, eh? Here we go. Yes, this is an afternoon session, which is a bit expensive at the moment, but it is my first day. You've got to go for it. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Yeah, I'll take that. I forgot to count them. It's always the tenth uh, screen, as you probably know by now. Yep, yep. Come on, we need to kick this into gear now, people. Not dead spins. Another one. No. Okay, we've got uh, plenty to aim at. Yeah, that's all right. One gold there at the top. Lovely. Four left. Come on, Mr. Wolf. Ugh. <laughs> no. Okay, that's going to move. Final free game. Go on, do a wee trigger. Do it. Okay, that's alright. I'll take that actually. Four gold, I'll take that. I will take that. Because you always get have a chance of the wheel, which uh, takes you up a level, of course. Come on then, Mr. Wolf, for the first time this week. What are you gonna give me? Six bucks a spin. Obviously on the previous version, you were guaranteed a minimum of 60 on the mansions, which is no longer the case. I think 40 is the minimum you can get on mansions at a six dollar bet. Okay, so here we go. So 48 bucks so far. Come on, wheel. Wheel. Okay, mini 100 and 360. Actually, that's not too bad, you know. Okay, well, it's a little bit of a comeback. Cheers, Mr. Wolf. I don't know, there's something about this game, even even the even more pub version. Uh, it's uh, incredibly... <laughs> well, I, I don't know, I can't really walk past it without putting something in. It's a very addictive game, very addictive. Anyway, $328. So, uh, yeah, we, I mean, we're down, but uh, we're down under uh, 400 now. Um, around about 360 So we took that ticket and went on to Genghis Khan. 762 major, 14.4 grand. Five dollar bet on a one dollar denomination. Ticket went down to 261. Nothing much there, but you never know. Always hope for that minor at 12.50. Here we go. Come on, something bigger. Yeah, that's better, that's better, 25. Okay, it's warming up a little. Two left, come on, do it. Final spin. Ah. Okay, well it's uh, ammunition. And 
interestingly, uh, following on from my uh, Vegas Mac comment earlier, uh, that he was here within me walking around the casino in the first five minutes. He went on a maxed out uh, major of 10 grand in the high limit room. I did have a look at it and I thought maybe I should play it. I mean, obviously he's playing far more. I'd have played it at five bucks a spin. Uh, God knows what he was playing it at, but I just walked past them and they'd won it inside half an hour. I mean, it is, it's just different level, isn't it, really? <laughs> anyway, that's $110 for me. That'll, that'll do. So that puts me back up to 371. We'll, uh, we'll keep trucking along. Okay, we're back on it again, although uh, the ticket took a complete battering, down to 85. But we do have a 100 ball there. So let's see what this brings. Here we go. $5 bet, $1 denomination. Keep the big balls coming. Go on. Oh. Final spin. Don't just leave me with that. Now oh, it has. Yeah, I thought with that hundred it might do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not a bad bet. Uh, um, win on its own. So 225. Yeah, I'm down 475 at the moment. Okay, well, it's uh, definitely hotting up. We're in again, down to 195 off that ticket, and we got a 75 ball. Here we go. Come on, give me something with words this time. Still waiting for our first mini or minor, and definitely still waiting for our first major. Now, of course, in this instance, the uh, minor's worth more than the major. Come on, Mr. Genghis Khan. Keep me in it. Keep me in it. Oh. Now, he keeps giving me coin shows, but he is a slow bleed. But back up to 335. It's not completely... Uh, killing me so we'll see what else happens okay and we're now on uh, Frankenstein got the three games bonus five bucks a spin one dollar denomination I went on this because the super was 9055 times two well someone's got to win it right <laughs> and even the max is 250 times two anyway we'll see what happens here that ticket went down to 107, so we're just under $600 down as we speak. Here we go. Let's have a few hits of lives, come on. They're yeah, not great so far. Not a sniff. <laughs> right, now do it. Heads, heads, heads. One. Oh, one. Really? Yeah, 25 bucks, okay. That's not great. Three spins left. Yes, right, do it again. Surely, no way. <laughs> wow. That's a $35 bonus on a $5 bet right there. <laughs> That's absolutely appalling. Okay, so on big hot flaming pots. It's a very fun game, this one. It really is. Uh, so it's the yummy uh, bonus that's pop. <laughs> I do like it. Uh, 380 bet on the 10 cent denomination. That is the ticket I've got left from 700. Uh, El Cortez has given me a bloody nose this afternoon, and pretty quickly, actually. It's been a no contest. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Let's order up, baby. Let's order up. So that's twenty-one fifty right there. Come on. Nice. Yes, another one. Nice. Two order ups. Order up. That's fifty-one bucks right there. 
We need an A and an N for sixteen thousand one hundred ninety-one dollars. Yep. I must admit, I do think the, this, the bonuses on this game are actually. That's up to sixty-two. Are actually they? Like they're, they're, they're not normally anything other than half decent, right? You don't often get a really bad one, from what, what I've seen online, anyway. Yeah? Well, they're certainly dropping. So you get four spins on this one, not just the normal three. No, don't just leave me with that. I think I'm kind of destined to lose seven or eight hundred this afternoon. I just, uh, <laughs> I'm sensing it, but that's okay. Make it interesting. Just leave me with one uh, square. That would be, uh, that would be good. 73.50 so far. Yep. Nice. Nice. Small order ups. Order up. up to 93, okay. I have to say, the, uh, the, the, uh, the games that are on offer, final spin, here at El Cortez, okay. Um, are very good. They've really got a great selection of slot games here. I mean, this casino used to be absolutely bloody awful back in the day. When I first started coming to Vegas, you you barely uh, contemplate coming down this area. Um, but it, they've really smartened it up. It's, it's really nice in here now. And uh, yeah, I mean, their, their, their slot selection here is on a par with uh, yeah, the, really the best in town in terms of the modern games. They got loads of Huff and More Puff and all the other variations of it. Uh, but anyway, it's all good. So yes, yeah, so we struggle back up to what, $140 or something from 700 I do like this game. Okay, and uh, just as the inevitable was about to happen, and I lost the uh, 700 I was that literally down to the last bet there, look. <laughs> and on Dragon Train, which is uh, one I've seen online but not played it myself, uh, we've got the six free games. So this is what it does. You get boulders and what have you. I don't. I don't really know. Anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can win any money. I say five dollar bet, one dollar denomination. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you get. Come on, we need three more. Oh, that's not enough. Three free games left. Come on, just do it. Well, that's okay-ish. 55, all right. Final free game. This is this is very underwhelming. Okay, well, no, that's good. Yeah, that's decent. We've got horses all along there. That's nice. And we've got, uh, yeah, no, that's good. How much is that then? That actually looks, that's probably the best uh, win of the day, is it? I'm gonna let this count up, you know. Lovely, thank you so much. Appreciate that, thank you. The um, drink service in this place has been phenomenal this afternoon. It really has. Right, so how much of this do you reckon then? Three, two, one, 349. Okay, I'll tell you what, that's, I'll take that. I will take that. Like up to 354. <laughs> So you know what I'm going to do, for an afternoon session, I'm going to finish this beer. I'm going to play this down to 300. And we're going to take the $400 loss. I'm going to have, uh, have a bite to eat, maybe have an hour's uh, kip. And then I will meet you back uh, for the evening session. Speak to you soon. Okay, so we're on uh, double top dollar. Now this is a two dollar version. So we're playing four bucks a spin, and that ticket has gone down to 89. As I said, I think I'm destined to lose this uh, 
have this money to do this afternoon. Uh, but anyway, uh, so you've got to double up what I would normally take. So really, it's a it's a ninety dollar minimum uh, award for me to accept it. So we're going to try again on a sixty for sure. Second offer. Definitely not. Third, Third offer. offer, come on. Okay. $70. That's good. Time two. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Nice one. Boy, you're a winner. Maybe not this afternoon, but that's a welcome addition. Puts me back up to 229. Okay, so we're back on it again, 80 bucks this time. Down to 141. So we try again on that. Second offer. $50. Definitely not. Third offer. Come on. $50. Okay, final offer. We need some uh, times twos. Okay. Yeah, that's the best one. Time two. One hundred and twenty dollars. One hundred and twenty bucks. Boy, you're a winner. Actually, to be honest, I've not been that disappointed with the number of bonuses I've had this afternoon. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm down what? Uh, Four fifty. Seventy dollars. Okay, on it again at uh, two nineteen. Seventy bucks this time. So, so far we've actually not done too badly on the offers. Third offer. If not breaking the bank. $70. Okay, final one. Final times offer. two, times two. Go on. $90. Okay, 90 bucks. That's what I would take anyway. So yeah, this is uh, stabilising me a bit. Takes me back up to 300. Or 309. I think it was almost out. I was almost down and out. Decided to stick it into Lightning Buffalo Link. Only because the mage was a thousand. Uh, and it went down to $58. But I was doing six bucks a spin on two cent denomination. But look at that, we got a miner at 200. And all of those balls hit on the feature, just to trigger the feature. That's incredible, isn't it? Anyway, so can we add to it? Let's see, here we go. So has it been a winning session this afternoon? Absolutely not. But we've had fun. Um, we've had actually quite a lot of bonuses, just not big enough ones to uh, <laughs> offset the losses. Welcome to Vegas, people. Come on. Go on, get, drop that major in. Yep, keeps me in it. Go on. Okay, well I'm definitely uh, gonna take this and head to bed for a couple of hours. Not a bad way to end. Not at all, look at that. $332 right there. Very good. So yeah, we're actually escaping. They're only about 300 down now. Yeah, I think that's a sign. I'll see you tonight. Okay, so... Uh... It's not been going well. I'm down. This is my fifth hundred tonight, uh, and uh, but uh, we're paying six bucks a spin on Huff and More Puff Power Four. I'm going to try all these uh, various Huff and Puff variations. There's also one with uh, reels and everything. So that's what's up for grabs. Uh, so six bucks a spin, one cent denomination. It's like 20 bucks a spin on 10 cent denomination. 10 bucks a spin on 5 cent denomination. Ridiculous. But we have got two lots of hats. So we get two games. So this is going to be interesting. So we need, in effect, red hats to unlock 
the other four. Here we go. Red hats, please. There's one. So in effect, you play the game the same as you do before, so you get a re-trigger for three. The red hats move up to the top, so we only need two now for the top left. Okay, that's a re-trigger on both reels, wow. So one more red hat for the top left, and the first gold of the evening. Good start. Well, not a good start, <laughs> but a good start to this game. I'm getting a bit wrecked in the El Cortez. Surely, yeah, that's two golds. Awesome. Surely we get one more red. Surely, surely. Come on. So two left on this one. Three left. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, fantastic. This is, this is an interesting variation. I, I, I kind of prefer this to the even more puff, I think. So that's that one completed. No golds on that one. That one's now completed, bottom right. And four free games left on the top left. Right, we need some red hats here. And re triggers. Yep, that's good. That's decent. Yeah, this is this is nice actually. Two left. Final free game. I don't think it's gonna do the last one. That's not bad though. I, I can't really complain at that. Yeah, you, know, you got six uh, gold. Anyway, whatever, let's just see what happens. Who knows what the payouts are on this damn game. Here we go. Come on, Mr. Wolf. Provide, please. Thank you. What are we reckoning on a $6 bet? I really have no idea. And it's a one cent denomination, don't forget. That's 19.50 so far. Yeah, nothing to write home about there. Okay, well that's not too bad. 52.50, right, here we go. 37, 37, 37, 22. Oh my, okay, we've got a 50 minor. Yeah, 267.50, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Okay, so we're, uh, we're under 200 down. It's an exciting game though, I have to say. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're on a Dragon Link, chasing a maxed out major of a thousand. The grand's pretty chunky at 14. And I was literally down to the last spin from that ticket you just saw. <laughs> uh, and it was a lucky chance spin. And I got the uh, feature with a 200 ball, a couple of 50s and a couple of 40s. I was doing $5 versus $10 on $1 denomination. So that was a bit of luck, huh? Okay, so. Let's see what else it gives me. Here we go. Come on. Yes. That's another hundred. Something blue would be amazing. Okay, that's pretty good though. I'm very happy with that. Keeps me in the game. Bit of a fight back. Excellent. So it's not often the win equals the credit, huh? <laughs> awesome stuff. Maybe that'll kickstart the evening, you never know. Okay, back on uh, Huff and Even More Puff. Got the uh, buzz sauce. That ticket you just saw. Uh, $500 went down to $3.90, 6 bucks a spin, 10 cent denomination. Here we go. You know what I don't want? 
grand will do. It's gonna be mini. It is gonna be mini. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. I had to get one sooner or later, eh? <laughs> Back up to 491. And unfortunately, that was as good as it got. Uh, I got a couple of very small bonuses after that, but I ended up losing the whole $1,000. Um, and I must admit, in general, I'm in probably the worst casino run I've had for some time. Uh, since I got back from Vegas in April, I've been to UK casinos, I don't know, probably six or seven times and lost every single time. And uh, this is just the latest uh, uh, visit that is that results in a loss. But I think normally I sort of come on this... Uh, vlog and I say how well I've done uh, in the UK and show little clips of some of the big wins but uh, that's certainly not the case at the moment I'm uh, I'm sort of riding a, a downward trend at the moment but I'm, I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna turn around it's gonna turn around so uh, today I'm gonna uh, take another grand out of the safe and we are heading up Fremont we're gonna do a hundred dollars um, in every single Fremont Street casino one hundred dollars bonus or bust so if you want to see how I get on with that, I will see you this time tomorrow. Take care.